So firstly, um, as you guys can see, I have no makeup on. I'm just going to put on some sunscreen first. The sunscreen that I like to use is this Biore UV Aqua Rich. Love this thing. I feel that it's been like my 6th or 7th bottle already. Although this is like a chemical sunscreen, usually if um, you have sensitive skin, you can usually go for like, a physical sunscreen which has a little bit of white cast but it's healthier for your skin. This one is chemical but um, I really really like this and this has SPF 50 and it's also a watery essence so it doesn't stick on my face. It's like a nice um, matte moisturizer. Okay, on my second application now. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead with it. Just do the usual spots. Makeup is so therapeutic. Love it! It's been so long since I sat here, talked to you guys, and put up a whole phase of makeup. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going in with my eyebrows. I look funny without my eyebrows right now. Um, I'm using this Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This one is an exact dupe of the Glossier um, Brow Boss. And if you have used Brow Boss, I think you will love, love, love this. This one is like $5 or even lesser at any Watsons or Guardian store. I really love Essence products because this is they're so cheap and the quality is like up here. So love it um so i've actually like threaded my eyebrows and just you know make it look a little bit more symmetrical so using this gel i will have a nice bushy natural eyebrow shape i don't want it to be too you know like rigid so it actually looks like that uh brow gel then you can just um kind of like do this i don't want too much product either because it's pretty dark and Weirdly, there's only one shade. Um, start with the back of your eyebrow, so don't go forward first because if not, your eyebrows will look super unnatural. So using this eyebrow gel, right, it actually is a very, very simple step for even beginners because it's so easy. You're just like filling in your eyebrows with um, the natural shape or arc that you have already. Just adding a little bit of definition at the ends of your eyebrows right just go upward strokes okay done with my brow okay so right now going in with my Fenty Beauty mocha stick this is the contour stick I love this so much I've been using this religiously every single day before work I'm just gonna use this blender so blend it out really quickly and you're done! I like to use this after I powder my face so you know I don't have to reapply any loose powder after. It also stays longer if I have my loose powder on my face first and this contour stick is not um, drying at all, it's actually pretty creamy and I, li I like this colour way more than amber because this one kind of gives me a more like bronzy look Amber, it's like one shade lighter and usually for Asians, they usually go for that colour but it's a little bit too dusty on my face. I want something more sun-kissed. So I chose Mocha which is I think the second lightest colour. And this is also a matte contour shade so um, you don't have to worry that it actually has a little bit of shin or anything. This one it's completely matte. Okay, nice, nice. I look nice and tan then with my nose contour i'm just gonna lightly just follow my nose shape and then dip downwards and into a little bit into my eye socket as well so um to make it look a little bit more natural so i'm going in with this milani bake powder in sunset passionate passion or passionate whatever and i think usually they will give you ooh, Usually they will give you a little brush here, but I wouldn't use it. But it's really handy to have a mirror here. Eee. Okay, so I'm gonna use this um, BH Cosmetic V3. This is a vegan brush and it's super fluffy. I'm just gonna go in. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch this shade for you guys first. It's a really nice mauve colour. 
And for this blusher, I feel that I can just use it all over my face. So it's more cohesive in a way. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this NARS Dolce Vita Lip Crayon. I've used it like so many times. And just lightly. We're going in with this Milani Lip Plumber in the shade Luminoso 04. So this is my final look. Okay, let's try this right now. So this is the Feisty Chick Eyeliner. So to finish up the face, I'm just gonna go in with this Natasha Denona Super Glow in 01 Fair. This is the highlighter. And oops, it's so freaking blinding. This is the Jeffree Star brush, highlighter brush. Ooh. A little bit here, a little bit on your nose, and a little bit here. Cupid's bow, a little bit more. And then I like to put a little bit on my inner corners. Right now, I'm just gonna try out this Feisty Wing Liner. In Slick. This is the smaller one. Okay, so we have a felt tip liner here. And this one, it's the wing liner tip like that. Right. So we're just gonna go in with the stamp and see how it looks. <gasps> I'm scared. Let's try this out right now. Ooh, it actually has a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go finish it up with a felt tip aligner. Eyelash extensions on, so I don't want to go full on on my eyeliner. But this one it's pretty good already. That I would like it to be a little bit more pigmented. But I think it's very easy, just that you need to have a very steady hand. And then I'm gonna go in with the left side. Let's not screw up the left side. Girl, I'm scared. Okay, we're going in right now. Alright, the left side one looks better. Yay! Done with this. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead with this Urban Decay All Nighter Anti Pollution Spray. I use this every single day, so. Okay. Guess this is it. Whew. Thumbnail time. <laughs> 